I didn't want to throw them I didn't want to throw the plants away and I thought to myself you know what if you don't give it a go you'll never know so I'm giving it a go and then I will know so in previous videos you might have heard me mention what we optimistically called the allotment. Now allotments in the UK are sections of land owned by the local council that are set aside. They are generally protected in law and they are for members of the local community to rent, usually for a minimal amount, and grow food on. Um, our allotment is slightly different. Our allotment is still a section of land. It's owned by the local parish council but it is essentially essentially a square of land in a large rushy field on the edge of the fells that we've fenced off. Um, we keep our chickens and our ducks up here but I've never really had any success growing anything up here. I've tried, when I say I tried I mean I shoved some squash plants in the ground a few years ago and promptly forgot about them. So this year I'm trying properly. A few years ago I made three raised beds up here um, but I never got around to filling them and I never got around to planting anything in them. Um, as a result they've just sat there. What I've done this year is, well what the husband's done, is he's mucked out the chicken pen. He's mucked it out into here so this is a bed full of lovely well rotted chicken manure and in here I've planted the rest well in here I've planted leeks and <clears throat> I planted these yesterday so I'm not really expecting a great deal of change from them but they look quite happy there's a couple flopped over that one that one there has flopped over but generally speaking they look quite happy still hopefully it will continue and we will get a harvest out of them. So this top section up here has had chickens in it in the past. We've still got a chicken house. Um, but there's been no birds in here since before the winter. We moved them out to try and give the ground a rest. And this is where the real experiment is. So if you remember from my plot tour video, I had a few courgettes left over. I have brought two of them up here. I planted them in these. They're just little, little raised beds. I can't remember where we got them from. Put them in there just to demarcate where they are. I put some fresh, fresh compost that I bought from the garden centre in there. Dug a big hole, filled it with fresh compost from the garden centre and planted them in that. So hopefully by the time the roots get through the fresh stuff and into this, and into this stuff, it'll be a big strong healthy plant. Now after I'd filled that bed up with leeks and onions, I still had loads left. And I had to make the decision between do I throw them away because I don't have room to put them anywhere down the house and I don't have another, anything else to fill another raised bed there or do I take a risk, do I see what happens and do I pop them in the ground up here. I have just planted these straight into this ground. Now this ground is very very dry. If you look it's almost got this, this crust on the top that just crumbles into dust. So I'm hopeful they will be all right, but I'm not actually all that confident that they're going to grow. It's just an experiment. Um, if you don't try, you never know. And then on this side of the pen, I have the rest of my leeks planted. It's the same ground. The ground here is very peaty, um, but you get down six, eight inches and you're onto clay. So it's very much an experiment. I don't know how it's going to work. But the leeks look happy overnight. I wasn't planning on pl trying anything else. I was just going to stick to the two courgettes and the leeks and the onions. But I've got some kale plants left and I've got some winter squash plants. Right, so the leek bed is just there, just where the camera is. So I'm going to pop the pumpkins back here ground is actually quite damp under this top crust. Bearing in mind we've had no rain for the last seven weeks or so. It's quite impressive that it's it's quite that damp. It's 
quite hopeful. Hopefully that means that they, they won't have a tendency to dry out. So I've got three pumpkins in here. One there, one there, and one here. Um, I planted them maybe a little bit close, but we'll see what happens. So the last thing I'm gonna have a go growing is some kale plants I had left over. Now, now these are the things I feel least confident about. Mostly because if anything gets in here, if any of the chickens or the ducks or a rabbit gets in here, these are going to be the first thing to go. So these are really going to be the plant that's going to tell us whether it's going to work. Um, I will get some net to go over them to try and protect them, similar to how I have over the onions. But I don't have any more left at the minute, so these are going to have to just go in the ground, take their chances, until next week when I can get some more net. So yeah, this is the rest of the allotment behind me. Um, that's the chicken pen, that's, that's the duck pen just there. And then the bottom's along that fence there. And the gate is in that bottom corner. And then we're back up to chicken pens. This chicken pen's empty, but we'll probably be putting some more birds in there at some point. But all this space here and all this space here is empty. So if I could get this ground productive, if I could grow food up here, I could grow so much. I mean, I could probably grow most of the fruit and veg we eat if I can get this productive. So I'm really, really hoping, fingers crossed, really, really hoping that this little experiment works. I'm really gonna work hard at trying to get these plants to grow, but I'm going to try not to be too disappointed if they don't. <laughs> um, because ever since we've lived here, all I've heard is people go, oh, you'll never get anything to grow up there. You'll never get anything to grow up there. So, but my thinking is if you'd ever try, you never know, you know? I have to give it a go because I have to know. So yeah, um, I will keep you updated. Um, but until then guys, we'll see you on the next video.